incredibly bold statement. The best and most capable four-wheel drive ever imagined. That is a statement. Did that diff lock just lock and unlock itself without you having to put it on? That's amazing. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carl from We Buy Cars. I'm a road buyer. Today we're going to be reacting to the 2020 Land Rover Defender virtual launch. Stick with us. So the 2020 Land Rover Defender, there's a, a lot of hype that's been happening. We don't know too much about the vehicle, been reading about the article, see what the specs are, but uh, we'll see what the, the virtual launch is going to bring us. It's very fitting that Bear Girls is doing the intro to the Land Rover Defender 2020 virtual launch. Very, very cool. That's pretty cool. The first technical drawing from Land Rover was in the sand. I, liked, I just like that saying. The Oxford and Cambridge Far Eastern Expedition set up a new record. Oh, this is that uh, record of enormous distances, but of through the basin every kind of, terrain, of the jungles, the Europe, yes. The Patrick Murphy was one of the first to go through that um, the, the jungle basin. They have this expedition where they every year they try and try and go through this trail, and every Land Rover fanatic will try and do this. It's it's pretty it's pretty cool. Check out all the things. All the have stood the test of time on this Sixty-five years of providing life-saving opportunities. That's a long time. It's like triple my age. <laughs> Yeah, one of the first vehicles actually took a Jeep body and took one of the uh, luxury vehicles and took the engine, put it in a Jeep Willis and basically that was one of the first prototypes before they started manufacturing it under the Land Rover called Series 1, Series 2 Defender. Check those headlights through the mist, hey? That's amazing. It's pretty much a mixed breed between the Disco and the Freelander. A little bit of the, um, the finesse of the Evoque. A little bit of everything, but still giving that homage to the, the old Defenders. Now this is what we want to see. We want to see these tests going on. You know, you hear and you read the article saying it can do this, but I want to see it here. These marketing shots are pretty cool, but um, we don't test these cars that heavy yet. We buy cars. It's, it's just a normal 5K to 10K test drive for you. <sighs> Jeez, those lights. I can't, I can't, I can't get over these lights. Just the way that they just pop in your face. Like, hey. I'm a Defender. Those bars, I believe that the Defender, this 2020 model Defender is the first Defender to come out exposing the bars so that you can actually hold on while you're in those rocky terrains. I like how straight everything is, from the roof to the middle, to the, to the underseam, to the seats, the head of the seats, the dashboard, everything is just parallel to the body, which is amazing, clean cut vehicle. So this new Defender is an interesting little fact that it can weigh through 900 millimeters of water. The engineers say that it can go deeper, but you run the risk of actually capsizing from a side current. You can, however, you will damage your interior and your lining, open up the door, increase a little bit of water into the vehicle closer to ensure that you have more weight put down and then you continue wading through. They don't suggest it, but it can be done. So we have 85 computers in this Defender all syncing in harmony. They send each other 21,000 messages to each other so that this vehicle does what it needs to be doing. Look at that nice Series 2. Quick fact, they were only called the Defender later on. I believe it was only in 1990. Before that, they were known as the Series 1, 2 and 3s. Very different from what they are now. Do yourself a favor, go watch that video of that testing ground and see how those soldiers are bouncing up and down and the vehicle does not break. Oh, so the 360 virtual camera on the top side, the panoramic on the, the, the front lip there, your undercarriage camera, it's amazing. That's cool. Looking at this 2020 Land Rover Defender now, and if you have to see where the history came from, where they, uh, some of the designs actually had the center steering wheel, where they wanted to design and sell it to the, uh, to the masses as a tractor, as a utility vehicle, where you would actually pull and grub and, and do all that land work. And now looking at this, it's like, is it the same vehicle? <laughs> So if you, if you look at the three vehicles that I'm about to compare, you have the Range Rover Discovery and the Evoque, and then you have this 2020 Land Rover Defender. If I, have to, if I have to choose, I look at the Defender, the way that it looks, not only does it look good, but it goes everywhere. 
So the virtual launch for me was very interesting. Um, never have I seen a virtual launch before. I've never been involved in a virtual launch before. I'm used to, you go to the showroom and there it is. Here's a new vehicle, nice. Experience was amazing. The way that they put it together, you could still feel it, the comments in the sideline on the virtual launch as well. It's very nice to read the people, how they're actually just joining and say, you know what, you guys done what you could with what you have and it still came out right. The things that pulled out for me were how they've changed completely from 2016 to 2020, how they are taking on things like the Evoke that they've manufactured or the Disco 4 that's come out and how they're changing the design of this rigid, rugged Defender to this amazing, stylish looking thing that can still go everywhere. So We Buy Cars buys a lot of vehicles, Land Rovers, Defenders, we have a few of them. Go visit our website, go see if you can go find your next Defender experience. Thank you for joining We Buy Cars and this virtual launch review slash reaction and it's been a pleasure being there with you. Tell us what you think about this new 2020 Land Rover Defender in the comments below. What did you think about the whole virtual launch experience, the vehicle? Give us your thoughts.